Hello everybody and welcome back to Let's Play Dragon Age Origins. I'm your host, Jer the Seeker. This is going to be the uh, Let's Play While Jer is uh, Getting Kinda Sick episode. Apparently, I don't know if I'm relapsing or what, but guys, I felt like, all you know, shit, all, well, the past day and a half. Uh, so yeah, uh, we're gonna go ahead and get started here in a sec. The last episode, we did the Grey Warden ritual. We were the only one to survive it. And we're told, too, that we were going to light the beacon in the Tower of Ishal. It would seem that the Darkspawn have already started to overrun the tower. So, yeah, let's go ahead and head on in here. I'm sorry, guys. I know I'm sniffly and all that. and I just, I feel like utter crap. But the show must go on. So let's go ahead and head through here. And uh, we're going to see if we can avoid setting this trap off here by going the opposite direction. Which uh, apparently it's not going to matter because someone already set it off anyway. Naturally. So my team is rather useless. Well, it's nice having this temp mage on the team here. Uh, he can do some pretty good damage from a distance. So. Let's just wail away on these Harlocks right here. So how's everybody been doing, guys? I'm sorry that it's been a little while. Uh, I had to work five straight days, and... Oh, it's just been a really rough week, guys. It's, it, it, it's, been, it's been hard. But it's over, and I'm off for a couple of days now. Well, two days. So right, maybe I can get a little uh, recording done. Alright, so we wiped out the little wave of dark spawn in there, so let's head on through here and through this door. Yes. And, of course, we're going to get attacked from all over the place here. This place is infested with dark spawn. No, guys, I apologize if my uh, breathing is coming through really heavy. Nice uh, fire attack from the mage there. Let's uh, take out this last Hurlock. And his shield block, or his shield bash missed there. And uh, down he goes. Oh, nope, there's one more. Now oh, let's knock the hell out of this gym lock. Okay, now, he, now he's down. We can't open that chest yet because, well, well, we can't open it all at all because we don't have any kind of rogue. So let's just loot these bodies. Oh, my commentary is probably going to be lackluster here. I have no idea what to say, really, other than, like, oh, a gift there. Uh, that's always useful, a blank bellium. Um, I guess let's come through here. Uh, no, there's nothing in there. Okay. Uh, there's a metal. What is... That is a big, gaping hole. I <laughs> Our mage doing some pretty good damage. Uh, we made it to uh, right before the second floor already. It's going quicker than I thought. I was actually anticipating this being a longer episode because I was uh, planning on going through the entire tower here. I was planning on this being a longer episode, but if we're making this good a progress this quick, we can't open that chest. Uh, and yeah, we're doing pretty good here. So, uh, yeah, let's go up to the second floor. Make us breath. What are these darkspawn doing ahead of the rest of the horde? There wasn't supposed to be any resistance here. Uh, weren't you just complaining that you wouldn't get to fight? <laughs> hey, you're right. I guess there is a silver lining here if you think about it. At any rate, we need to hurry. We need to get up to the top of the tower and light the signal fire in time. Tyron Loghain will be waiting for yep, the signal. Yep, real, uh, real nice silver lining. We got hordes of shit trying to kill us. Is there anything over here? Uh, it's been so long since I've done this. I don't remember where all the uh, loot chests are. Right, here's a crate with a green stone in it. We'll go ahead and take that. Alright, uh, we're just going to come through the store here and get attacked again. Yes. Um, yeah, pretty good. Oh, some bitch stunned me. Yeah. Oh, loot the body.
bodies. And I'm gonna try not to call for sneeze during any of this, just cause, well, that would completely suck and in my opinion just ruin a lot of shit. Uh, or we're not gonna charge into the horde here, we're gonna, uh, use these ballistas and see if we can't just take these guys out from a distance, no stay. So yeah, let's just keep using the ballistas and... Okay, now we're gonna come over here since we got some others charging me. Cut his fucking head off. <coughs> yep, right, of course, right after I say I'm not gonna cough, I'm gonna cough. Jinx my stupid ass. Guys, being sick just really sucks. Alright, so we'll come uh, in here. We got a few more chests of uh, stuff we can take. And let's continue onward some. Yeah, let's just continue on. Take that Lyrium potion. How have y'all guys been doing? You know, just let me know. No, I know not many of y'all, uh, or, v or I know I don't have really any viewers at all. Maybe a couple. But yeah, uh, it means a lot to me that y'all actually watch these, because I know they're not the greatest. In fact, uh, they probably suck. Uh, but yeah, let's just take out this gen lock. <laughs> quicker than I anticipated. Uh, we can't open that chest right there, of course. We'll just loot all the bodies here. Those games better be ready to charge as soon as we light the signal. The king is depending yeah, on... Yeah, we gotta light the beacon. I know. Shut up, Alistair. You're... Normally I like you, but you're just being a pain in the ass right now. Maybe my uh, temper's just kind of short. <sighs> oh, I gotta shake this shit before I have to go back to work in a couple of days. Uh, that guy was in a corner trying to uh, gank me. Guys, I'm sorry about the uh, kind of lack of commentary here. Ice arrows, we'll keep those. Uh, I'm sorry about the lack of any real commentary here. I'm just, I can't think of anything to say. And I know it's been a while since an episode since I put a video out. Uh, we're gonna do something a little different here. We're not gonna take on the bulk of the sword by ourselves. We're gonna open these cage doors. And what that's gonna do is release uh, a couple of Mabari hounds, and they're gonna come and. Uh, well, basically just annihilate every damn thing in the area that's not us. Shield bash is ass. And down they go. Oh, but a wooden recruit shield. Nice, and a diamond. Can't open that chest naturally. Nothing else. All right, let's move. On. Let's uh, blah, 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 blah. I can't speak. Uh, let's move on uh, through the metal door. Uh, we're gonna get attacked in just about every room here. I don't know. Looks like the uh, dark spawn in the other rooms are coming out and coming to me. So that always. Oh shit! 
I love that killing animation. I don't think I've ever seen that one. I actually think I like that one better than the uh, chopping chopping their head off. That one was pretty badass. <laughs> Fighting our way onward, loot some bodies. Take the shit in the crates. Injury kits, those will be useful at some point, I promise you. Okay, so now there's no more enemies here since they all ran out and tried to uh, maul us at once and. The Mobari's helped a little bit here, but not much. So we're just gonna uh, search the rooms for various crap. Through here and get attacked again, and this is the last room of this floor, I believe. Yeah, it is. Let's just take out the shit in here. Um, Stick a sword in them. Cast magic on them. Passes. There's only a couple in here, no big deal. We can't open that chest, of course. We got on the weapons rack here. Firebolt. Um, those will end up probably just getting sold because it is very, very rare that I give a crossbow to any of the rogues in this game. I mean, yeah, don't get me wrong, they can be pretty powerful, but they just fire too, way too slow for me. Uh, so you can see here, we're going to go to the top floor. This is the top floor, this is probably where we need to light the beacon. Oh, what's going on here? What the fuck is that thing? It is monstrous. Alright, and it's going to say, this is an ogre. It's our first encounter with one. Our first of many. Early on, these are very powerful beasts. Uh, they will hurt you quick. They hit hard. Son of a bitch, they hit hard. But, uh, just got to kind of... Oh, crap, this is not good. This is not good. Put me down. Get me. Oh, put me down. And I'm in deep shit here. And I'm dead. Lovely. Alright, so as you can see, uh, my main, uh, my elf died. So, uh, that's, and it switches us to the next character in our party, in this case, is Alistair. So, uh, yeah, let's keep wailing away. Oh my god. I did not anticipate this guy kill. Ow! This guy killing any of my teammates. Oh, this is embarrassing. Ow! Shit. Oh, he went for a crab there, but missed. Let's pop another health pulches. And our, our, uh, one of our temp teammates is down. Oh, th not good, not good. Put me down, please. Please, don't kill me, don't kill me. Because I don't know if I can beat him with the mage. And, oh, God, I'm dead. Damn it. All right, ow. Heal mage. Run, run, run. Can I take him? I don't know. This is not good, guys. And, oh my god, oh my god, he's down. He's down. He is down. <laughs> Switch back to my main characters. As you can uh, see, that little red square right there signifies that we have an injury. And uh, we need to use an injury kit to repair those. So, uh, no, let's not go to inventory. Oh, let's go over here to our potions. And uh, where's our injury? Okay, yeah, here they are. Let's use an injury kit and switch to Alistair. I'm not going to bother using one on the uh, temp party members because, well, they're temp and, well, yeah. So I'm just not going to do it. Let's see what this ogre has. Uh, ooh, heavy chain mail and a shield. Wow, good stuff, good stuff. Okay, let's uh, see if we can equip this chain mail. I think this is our first set of heavy armor and we can... Yeah, and it is a uh, nice bit better, and it looks fucking awesome. Love this particular style of armor. Um, but yeah, there's the beacon. Alright guys, what uh, 
I'm gonna go ahead and light this beacon and I'm just gonna be quiet uh, you'll see why this is one of my favorite scenes in the entire game so I'm just gonna let this play through and we gained a level there sound the retreat but what about the king should we not do as I command Let's move. That was just rude. I was just shot. Ass hat. Oh god, that was intense, guys. I love that scene. It's probably my favorite scene in the entire game. Ah, your eyes finally open. Where am I? Mother should be pleased. Morrigan? Um, I remember you, the girl from the wilds. I am Morrigan, lest you have forgotten, and we are in the wilds where I am bandaging your wounds. You are welcome, by the way. How does your memory fare? Do you remember Mother's rescue? Uh, I remember being overwhelmed by Darkspawn. Mother managed to save you and your friend, though it was a close call. What is important is that you both live. The man who was to respond to your signal quit the field. The Darkspawn won your battle. Those he abandoned were massacred. Your friend, he is not taking it well. Uh, uh, well, neither am I. This is terrible. Of that I have no doubt. Your friend has been inconsolable since Mother told him the news. He is outside by the fire. Mother asked to see you when you awoke. Uh, were my injuries severe? Yes, but I expect you should be fine. The Darkspawn did nothing Mother could not heal. Um, well, oh. Uh, thank you for healing me, Morgan. I... You were welcome. Though Mother did most of the work, I am no healer. Uh, I will go then. I will stay. And make something to eat. You do that. Make me something while you're at it. Okay, guys, you can see we gained a level there, but... Uh, oh my god, <laughs> that was just intense. I mean, I, I knew Logan was an asshat, but, but why? Why would he 
why would he do it? I mean, just quit the field. Betray everyone. He he left everyone to die. King Kalen, Duncan, everyone. Just, oh, God, why would he do it? I don't, I don't understand. This, oh God, this is just, this is not good, guys. And, and how did, how did Flynn save us? I mean, we're at the top of a tower. Check our equipment here, uh, make sure we don't have anything better. Let's check this here, oh. This may be a, Yes, yeah, pretty good shield. Um, but I am... I, I don't even know what to think about this. Like I said, I knew Logan was just a complete asshat. But this, this is just something else altogether. Just no words. <coughs> Sorry about that. Oh, just wow. Um, let's take their shit, I guess. Um, yeah, leather boots. Hey, come on, maybe we can't open that chest. Uh, oh my God, guys. Um, well, I'm gonna go ahead and cut this episode here. This certainly has been an exciting one that has opened up a lot of questions. Like, you know, why? Why would Logan? Why would Logan betray King Kalen and leave? him and the Grey Wardens, well, to die? I mean, what what could have made him, what could he have sought out of doing that? Duncan's dead. The, the king is dead. They're all dead. Um, how did Flemeth manage to get to that tower to save us? When we come back, we'll go talk to Flemeth and Alistair and See if we can't make sense of all this, because right now this just doesn't make any sense. I mean, why? Stay tuned and find out. See you next time, guys.